This is the story of two handicapped boys. They meet in their childhood and become best friends. One of them is highly intelligent and he goes to another country to study. With his extraordinary intelligence, he finds a cure for his illness, but when he uses it, he ends up becoming a monster. His friend also uses the same cure and ends up just like his genius friend, but unlike him, he likes what he has become and that leads them to become enemies. Let's see how they tackle the chaos they bring to the world. Welcome to Movie Recall. In today's video, we'll be going through the 2022 action superhero film Morbius. It's time to recall, let's get started, turn on subtitles and spoilers ahead. The movie starts in Costa Rica and Dr. Morbius, along with his teammates, goes to a cave on a helicopter. The leader of the expedition is Dr. Morbius and he asks his team to set a trap at the entrance. It is revealed that the cave is home to a peculiar breed of bats. They are more powerful and larger in size. They are known as vampire bats. As Morbius gets to the cave, he makes a cut on his hand in order to lure the bats out with the smell of his blood. Hundreds of bats come flying out of there and his teammates get scared and run out of there, but Morbius is not scared and stands still like he is waiting for something. This is where the scene ends. We are then taken to 25 years ago in Greece and there we see a young Morbius who is a handicapped boy and has trouble walking. Morbius has a blood disease and he does not have much time left according to the doctors. Morbius is then joined by another boy named Lucian in his hospital. Morbius welcomes his surrogate brother Lucian and goes on to name him Milo. The two boys suffer from the same blood disease and their doctor takes care of them. They bond over their shared blood illness and desire to be normal. After a while, Milo's machine malfunctions and he passes out. Morbius quickly uses a spring from his pen to fix the machine and Milo gets better and wakes up again. Morbius is an extremely intelligent boy and the doctor is really impressed by him. So their adoptive father and hospital director Nicholas arranges for Morbius to attend medical school in New York while he focuses on caring for Milo. While Morbius is gone, the other boys at the school bully Milo and beat him up until he is saved by Dr. Nicholas. Despite his illness, Morbius manages to get his degree by just the age of 19 with his extraordinary intelligence and becomes an impressive doctor. He works with synthetic blood and saves countless lives. Everyone appreciates his offers and he is nominated for a Nobel Prize, but he publicly declines the Nobel Prize. One day, Morbius is working in his lab that is in New York. His lab is known as the Horizon Lab. He is there with his colleague Martin and he has been trying to treat his blood diseases with different experiments for years now. He has finally managed to find a way. He mixes the human blood with the blood of the vampire bats and prepares a serum with that. He is confident that he will be able to cure his disease now that he has prepared the serum. He goes to share the good news with his friend Milo. We see that Milo belongs to a rich family and Milo is the one who actually funds Morbius' experiments. He then goes on to tell Milo that he has prepared a serum that is going to help them with their physical disability. But this experiment could be dangerous, so he is going to go away to conduct the experiment. The scene then shifts to international waters where Morbius is on a ship and he takes Martine and some other boys with him as well. When they are in the middle of nowhere, Martine goes on to inject that serum into Morbius' body. As soon as the serum reacts, Morbius starts to shake and goes out of control. While the cure works, it transforms Morbius into a vampire. The whole process is really painful, but now he has become a monster who kills and drains the crew of their blood after they attack him out of fear. He has become super quick and has superpowers. Martine is the only one who is not dead as she went unconscious. Once his bloodlust subsides and he regains his senses, a horrified Morbius erases all CCTV footage of his experiment before contacting the authorities and jumping overboard. Morbius then goes to his lab and in order to test his strength and abilities, he tries out different stuff and gets to know that in order to stay healthy, he is going to need human blood. If he does not consume that, he is just going to end up the way he used to, a physically disabled man. He discovers he now has superhuman strength, speed, reflexes, and echolocation with his vampire bats treating him as a bat. He is, however, a good man and he does not want to harm anyone. He starts to use the synthetic blood cure he himself made and after a while, he realizes that he is going to have to consume the synthetic blood every six hours. He realizes that if he starts consuming the blood on a regular basis, the time limit will keep decreasing with the passage of time. Then a time will come when the synthetic blood will be of no use to him and he is going to be left with none but one choice. That choice is to consume the blood of humans. This is something he wants to avoid. 
he starts to understand his body, he gets to know the advantages and disadvantages of the serum he has injected himself with. One day when he is busy with his work, Milo comes to see him. He notices that Morbius is now way healthier and he has no problem walking anymore. Milo is curious as he too wants to get healthy. Milo asks him the secret behind his magical recovery and goes on to mention the serum Morbius himself once told Milo about. He asks if the serum actually worked. Milo then tells him that he wants to be normal too and goes on to ask Morbius to give him the serum as well. Morbius, however, tells him that he should not use it as it is nothing but a life-threatening poison that could very much end Milo's life. He tells him everything that has been going on with him, saying that he now has to become a monster and goes on to add that he will not allow Milo to use that serum. They start arguing and Milo keeps demanding the serum, but Morbius does not cave. Milo finally leaves. Morbius goes out and he gets to know that one of his nurses has died and the peculiar thing is that after she was killed, all of her blood was sucked out of her. Milo understands what it is about. The FBI starts to make some investigations and they suspect Morbius as they are aware that the same type of incident happened on the ship and Morbius was also present on that ship. After this incident, Morbius starts to think that it is possible that he is the one who killed the nurse worker when he was in his vampire form because when he's in his vampire form, he loses control over his mind and body. Believing he was responsible, he attempts to escape before being cornered and arrested. He is then locked and he starts to spend his days in lockup. This is where his childhood friend Milo comes to see him. He has a cane in his hand and a packet that contains blood which Milo leaves there when he goes back. Morbius now understands that Milo has injected himself with that serum and that is why he too is cured. He also understands that the nurse was not killed by him, it was actually Milo who killed her when he was in his vampire form. Morbius is now furious with himself for inventing that serum. He then starts to think and again gets scared at the thought that Milo now has a bloodlust and it is very much possible that he could be killing other people too. Morbius decides that he needs to get out of there, so he breaks out of the prison and right away goes to see his friend Milo. He tells him everything that he has gone through and goes on to add that he has become a monster just like him. He tries to make him understand that this is not good news and that they could be really dangerous to the others out there. Despite everything, Milo is not ready to listen to his friend. He starts to kill people in front of him and Morbius finds himself unable to prevent it. Milo is unrepentant and he goes on to confess to his bloodlust-induced crime and urges Morbius to embrace his powers as he has. Trying to knock some sense into his friend, Morbius tells Milo that they now possess a power that is not possessed by anyone else in the world and if they decide to work together, they could pull off wonders. Milo, on the other hand, wants Morbius to do as he plans, but Morbius declines and tries to run out of there, but Milo gets in the way, as he gets to know that Morbius is not going to help him, he tries his best for Morbius to get caught by the police or be killed. Morbius now understands that his friend has now become his worst enemy. He goes to his lab and tries to come up with a cure that could reverse the effects of the serum and make them as they were before they injected themselves with that serum. He successfully prepares a serum. He now plans to use it on Milo. Milo has become really powerful as he has been drinking human blood by killing everyone he comes across. His bloodlust has increased to such an extent that he even kills his doctor and sucks the blood out of him as well and then he injures Martine as well. Morbius gets to know this and when he rushes to her and takes her in his arms, he sees that she is badly wounded. He sees that Milo has become so powerful compared to him and on the other hand, he is really weak because he has only been using synthetic blood and Milo on the other hand has been killing countless people and drinking their blood. Martine, who is badly wounded, barely finds the strength to speak and tells Morbius that he has to stop Milo because he has not become a monster and that he is going to bring chaos into the whole city if he is not stopped. She tells him that if he wants to fight Milo, he will have to consume human blood as well because Milo is really powerful and Morbius on the other hand is not because he has been trying to stay normal by using synthetic blood. Martine then goes on to allow Morbius to consume her blood as she is dying anyway. Before she dies, Morbius kisses her and a drop of blood from Morbius falls into her mouth. He goes on to suck the blood out of Martine and becomes a vampire right away. Morbius right away goes to fight Milo. The two start to fight and it is chaotic. Despite the fact that Morbius has gotten back his powers after drinking Martine's blood, Milo is still way more powerful than him. He easily fends off Morbius' attacks and beats him up badly. When he is being badly beaten up by Milo and has no other way to outsmart or outstrength him, he recalls something. He recalls the power he got when he injected himself with the serum for the first time. 
He was smart, he was fast, he was furious, but there was one other thing, and that is the ability to communicate with the bats. When he had gotten back after the injection back then, he had found out that he could communicate with the bats. He can talk to them and command them to do anything he desires. He then summons an army of bats to restrain him. As Milo is restrained, Morbius comes close to him and injects the antibody, and with that, Milo dies. Morbius then flies off with the bats, mourning his loved ones and embracing his identity as a vampire. In the next scene, we see that Martine is still alive and well. She was badly wounded, but now she has cured herself and she is now as powerful as Morbius because she has become a vampire now. She became a vampire by drinking a drop of blood from Morbius when he was kissing her. In the post credit scene, we see that Adrian Toomes finds himself transported to Morbius' universe. This is the same guy we saw in the Spider-Man Far From Home. Then we see another post credit scene that shows Dr. Michael Morbius is on his way to somewhere when he runs into Dr. Adrian Toomes, the Vulture. Morbius asks him what he is doing there and the Vulture tells him that the reason behind him being there is the Spider-Man. He then goes on to tell Morbius that there are a lot of people like him out there and they only have one enemy and that is the Spider-Man, at which Morbius says that this is going to be fun. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and click the bell icon to get new movie recaps.